Hey guys, it's Sam, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my most highly requested video of all time. In other words, my makeup collection. I'm currently semi-organized, so I will just share with me what it looks like right now until I might organize it differently, but this is so far how it looks like, how I organize all my makeup. Just to let you know, first of all, I'm obviously in no way, shape, or form bragging. I no. Obviously, if you do not like these type of videos, just feel free to watch any other kind of videos. I have a lot of other videos too. And if you enjoy these type of videos, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So this is an overview of my desk. Uh, I have both of my desk and my uh, nine drawer uh, organizer are from uh, Ikea. Most of my organizer are from either Amazon, uh, Ikea, Dollar Store. By the way, my collection is not really organized right now, but people have been requesting before I move or uh, reorganize it to just do it anyway. So it's gonna be just a short video just showing you what I have right now, it's not super well organized like I said, but people wanted to see it now, so that's what I'm doing. So on top I have a candle burning because you're not a beauty guru if you don't have one. I have some makeup brushes, I have some like Real Techniques, some e.l.f., some Sigma ones, some random ones. I also have this kit that was uh, from Victoria's Secret like two years ago I believe. These little cups are from Ikea, I think they're really adorable. The first drawer is face makeup, so I have like face primer, uh, foundation, powder, some concealer. So face primer, I have the e.l.f. ones. I have a lot of mini ones. This one is from Cover Effects. I have L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I have the Benefit Professional, that gal. And I have the, oops, I have the Too Faced uh, Prime and Poreless, the Smashbox, <laughs> the Smashbox uh, hydrating one. I have a sample size of the Clarins one. And I have the classic photo finish by Smashbox, and another one that is the moisturizing one. Concealer, I have the e.l.f. Uh, HD Lifting Concealer. I have the MAC Cover Effects and the, the Studio Finish one. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear one. I haven't even tried it yet. I really am excited. This is in shade once. I was really waiting till this winter, so I was pale enough to pull it off. I have some Ellie uh, Girl Pro Concealer. I have the Kat Von D uh, Tattoo one. I have a Sleek one. Foundation, I have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is like the jumbo size. I do like it. I have the L'Oreal True Match. I have still to try this. I have the Nars Sheer Glow that I love. I have the MAC Pro Long Wear. I have the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation, the Lueli uh, BB Cream, the Garnier BB Cream. And then powder, I have the Makeup Forever one, the Laura Geller that I absolutely love. Highly recommend this one. The e.l.f. Uh, under eye setting powder. This is just a pure mineral one. Some e.l.f. one, some sleek foundation testing thing. So you can just test out and find your right color. So and some sleep powder. So this is basically what I have in the first drawer. So now the second one. This one has to be my favorite or one of my favorite just because blushes were my first love and you will see that I really love blushes. <laughs> so I have the bomb blushes. I have just a mini Instain one. I have the frat boy, down boy. I have my MAC blushes. Adore these. Some more here. I have some tart ones. I have the mini ones that came in a Christmas kit. Some Milani blushes, I have more in the back. I have my NARS blushes, adore these. I, I did do a swatch video on the NARS tart and uh, MAC blushes, so I'll link it down below, but adore these. They're like so pigmented and so beautiful. Love these. I have some sleek one, highly pigmented, so if you have issues with blush showing up on your skin tone, you need to try these. I have one of the Kat Von D one. I have some Wet n Wild blushes. Again, super pigmented, and one benefit blush, the Bella Bamba one. Not crazy about it, but I want to try more of these. Then I have some e.l.f. blushes. These are the uh, pressed mineral blush. They're really good. I have some Jordana ones. Oops. I have some Jordana ones, some La Femme blushes. I have one of the e.l.f. blush. This is the color Peach. Again, super pigmented, and this one is a matte finish. If you haven't tried these, they're really good. I have one of the Makeup Forever HD blush. I have the sleek ones. These are the trios. Again, extremely pigmented. Super fun colors. And I have the NARS one. This is the Dun Mary palette. It came out two years ago for Christmas. Super gorgeous, but it was limited edition. The next two are pretty messy, but let's just go right into it. Those are the eyes drawers. So 
This one, I have some eye primers, so Benefit State on Stray, the e.l.f. one, the Lorac one, Tarte one. Uh, I have the Primer Potion, couldn't find a name. Uh, I have the Cream Shadows from like e.l.f., a MAC, some Maybelline ones, some Tarte ones. I have a bunch of eyeliners, so uh, Maybelline, Sleek, some NYX ones. These don't recommend if you have uh, contacts because they make my vision blurry. I have some Glitter Liner by NYX. I just have a ton, some eyelash curler, I have the uh, Maybelline gel one, love that one, eyebrow kit, I have the e.l.f. one, I have the Maybelline, uh, not Maybelline, <laughs> the Makeup Forever one, Rimmel, NYX, and I have a bunch of unopened mascara, I have so many that like you get when you purchase something, so I have a bunch, and I always like to buy some in the drugstore whenever they're on sale, so I have like a bunch that I haven't tried yet. These are all my NYX single shadows. I have to depot them because I used to use them a lot, but now that I have more like palettes, I don't reach for it, so I have to depot them and put them in a Z palette. Next one, I have some more single and low palettes. So I have some NYX ones. This is the 10 color ones. This is the caviar one. I have a bunch of the trios. Those are really, really good. So I have those. I have a Maybelline one. This one is a uh, MAC limited edition uh, crushed metallic pigments. I have the melon pigments. I have a bunch of the uh, little NYX like uh, glitter, they're really, really glittery, so I love these for like Christmas and the holidays basically. I have a lot of the uh, L'Oreal uh, Color Infallible eyeshadows, these are gorgeous, especially the uh, shimmery shade, some Giordana, these are for the eyebrows but I love using them as crease colors. I have some uh, e.l.f. single colors. I have a bunch of the uh, Wet n Wild palettes because they are amazing, highly recommend these, amazing, amazing. The single ones too. These are the uh, eight six pens that they used to have. I don't know why they stopped making them because for example Vanity palette is amazing. I have a bunch of the uh, Sleek palettes. I highly recommend those. They're super affordable and they're super pigmented. It's like amazing. So highly recommend trying these. I love them. Like can you see that? And I have two of the Sephora Moonshadow uh, palettes. Don't reach for these whatsoever because they're really 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 shimmery but they have so much fallout and not that much pigmentation. Anyway, I have two of those. This one is lips. Most of my lipsticks are actually in here, but I have some more in here, so here we go. So in the back, I have some unopened or some random like lip glosses, <laughs> lip smacker. Uh, here I have some of the uh, Revlon ones. I don't think they make these anymore. I have the uh, lip butters, don't like those. I feel like I'm the only person, but whatever. I have one of the CoverGirl lipsticks. I have some NYX. These are the um, black label ones. I have a bunch of these NYX uh, glosses. I have to do a lip swatch video on those. I have a bunch of the uh, glaze lip paint by LA Girl. I have a bunch of the uh, Revlon, uh, the matte balm, the lacquer balms, and the just the balm stain. So I have a bunch of these. Then I have some Revlon lipsticks and I have all of the uh, NYX uh, soft matte lip creams. I think I have one or two that are missing actually right now, but love these. If you haven't tried these, I highly recommend those. I have also the NYX round lipstick. Don't love these. So that's it for that drawer. Next one is actually just a palette drawer. So those are the palettes that I don't reach for as often. The other ones are on my desk. So I have the Urban Decay. This is the 15th anniversary uh, palette. This is the Book of Shadow, I think, number four. I have some blushes from La Femme Blushes. This is a MAC uh, limited edition powder and two uh, NARS blush and highlight. I have my uh, MAC eyeshadows. I don't reach for it just because I can't do a full look with these. I have a bunch of the Coastal Scents palettes that YouTube made me do it basically. So I have a bunch of those. Don't necessarily reach for these as much anymore. I have a random uh, palette that I got for Christmas and some more uh, concealer and blush palette from Coastal Scents. Uh, the next drawer is just some random hair stuff, so just quickly showing you, like there's nothing really interesting in there, so that's just how it is. The last one I'm actually not going to show just because it's uh, full of like back to Mac, back to Lush, and uh, some gifts for Christmas, so I can't show that. I also have some uh, sample size, but not really interesting. So now the fun stuff, uh, my desk, I have most of my everyday makeup in here and some, a lot actually, of lipsticks here. I have some more on top, I'm just going to start by showing you those. So I have some lip liners, these are my uh, NYX ones, I have some MAC ones, some Milani, uh, Giordana, I have some of the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil, 
I have all of my uh, MAC lipsticks here. I love these. I have some of the Lime Prime ones and the Lime Prime Velveteens. Love these. Highly recommend those. I have two baby ones. One from Kat Von D and one from uh, Makeup Forever. In a corner over there, I have the special plant. If you've seen my 50 facts about me, you know what it is. I have some Urban Decay palette, the Naked 1, Naked 2. I have the Stila uh, in the Light palette. Adore this one. I have the Lorac Unzip palette. And I have the Lorac Mega Pro palette. So that's basically an overview of my desk. In the corner, I just have some random kab kabuki brushes, some more brushes that I don't necessarily reach for on a daily basis some uh, makeup setting spray, some makeup cleaner. So the first drawer is basically my everyday makeup plus the ones that I want to try or I've been trying lately. So here I have my face makeup, so uh, concealers, Makeup Forever one, I have some Maybelline one, LA Girl, MAC Pro Concealer, I have some face primer, the Makeup Forever one, the Laura Mercy moisturizing one, I have my really dirty sponge, I have my Bourjois foundation, the L'Oreal Lumi one, and I have the Bobbi Brown uh, concealer, but I mostly just use the uh, under eye powder. Next I have some eye stuff, I have some uh, dual glue, I have the NYX eyebrow kit, I have the Benefit Stay Don't Stray, the e.l.f. one, I have the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hill uh, Deep Brow Pomade, I have the MAC concealer, I have a lot of <laughs> mascara, I actually have to throw out a few. My favorite ones right now that are open are probably these two, so the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the L'Oreal uh, CoverGirl. And the CoverGirl Chrome Crusher. I have some eyebrow gel, the e.l.f. one mostly that I love. For my cheeks, I have the Tarte Amazon Clay Bronzer. I have the uh, Taupe Blush by NYX, adore this one. I have the Wet n Wild Bronzer, don't love that one, but I'm trying to use it up. I have some highlights. I have the Bika one that I'm trying. This one is in uh, Moonstone. So far, I like it, but I'm not sure I follow the rave reviews, but still trying it out. I have the e.l.f. highlighter. Highly recommend that one. Love it. This one is the uh, limited edition blush highlight by MAC, but it is, yeah, face powder. I have my Tarte Blush in Expose. Adore this one right now. Powders. I have two. I have the CoverGirl uh, Sensitive Press Powder. I have the color Buff Beige. And I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder. So these are the products that I'm currently uh, trying out. I have the Hourglass uh, Ambient Powders. Not sure how I feel 100% yet. I kind of like it, but I'm kind of eh. I have the Naked 2 Basics. I have the Anastasia Little Kit. This was the uh, Go Brow. I actually currently really love the eyebrow uh, little pencil, so I haven't tried the uh, brow gel yet. And I have the Lorac Pro to Go palette. I've only worn this a few times, but I currently really like it already. I haven't tried the blush and bronzer yet, but still think it's a gorgeous palette. I also am trying out the Lorac uh, Treaty Liquid Luster. I like this for Christmas. It's like the perfect time for the holidays to wear this. And here I have a bunch of lip products that I got during the Sephora sale that I'm currently trying out. So the uh, Kat Von D lipsticks. So far, mm, I find them a little drying, at least the colors I have. This one is just the e.l.f. exfoliating lip products. I have the MAC Full Lipstick. This one is not new, but I've been wearing it non-stop. I love the colors of the Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks and the Kat Von D ones. I have the Sephora uh, Luster Matte Lip Color. It's not matte at all, but I do like it. And I have the Sephora Cream Lip Stain, I believe. Adore this. I wish they came out with like more colors that were wearable. And I have my two uh, Nourish lipsticks. And this is the uh, MAC Magical Cool Liquid Powder. This is basically highlight on me. I'm just putting it there so I remember to use it once in a while because otherwise I forget about it. Last but not least, this is probably my favorite drawer and probably everyone that's gonna watch favorite drawer. This is lips and I swatch a lot of them, so that's why I have so many. I'm not just hoarding them for the pleasure of doing it. So here we go. Yeah. So I have the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. Adore these. They're really affordable. I know some people might be OCD a little, and I'm sorry. There's one that's missing. Same here. Sorry about that. So um, I have all of them. Adore them so much. I also recently got the uh, Fergie line. Adore these too. I have the NYX matte lipsticks, love these, especially the bold shades, so if you're looking for a bold shade, go for these. I have the NYX uh, butter lipsticks, the Milani ones, I have some L'Oreal, 
I have Maybelline lipsticks. Uh, the Vivid ones are amazing. I have some of the new matte lip shades. I have the some nude ones and the color whispers. I have a bunch of lip balms. I have like Vaseline, uh, Caress Lip Butters, some Nivea, Nivea one. I have the uh, Nux Rêve de Miel. I have some Maybelline Baby Lips and a bunch of the Chair Culture lip balm that come whenever you order something from there. Lip glosses, I have a bunch of the uh, NYX Butter Gloss. Highly recommend these, they're amazing. I have one of the Ad Balm uh, lipsticks. I keep it in the packaging because the packaging is really not cute, like meh, but this is cute, so. And I have one of the um, Boxum lip glosses and I have the uh, MAC Erase Lips. That lip erase lip balm. In the corner, I have some hand sanitizers, some makeup wipes, and a little sharpener. And then I have my uh, Rimmel lipsticks. I have the Kate Moss ones and just the regular old line. And last but not least, I have some of the uh, Sleek Pout Polish. Love these during summer. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.